at Vinsville asks this question about Cakewalk. How to transition or connect the stanza to chorus, then chorus to stanza part smoothly. Stanza and chorus has a different tempo and beat. So it's quite a challenge for me to connect them together. Is it simply using a drum fill or maybe some other thing? This is a song that I created. It came to my mind a long time ago. Uh, it is a song that is very jazzy, but it has a lot of time signature changes and what we call metric modulation. Metric modulation means that even though the tempo is the same, I'm basically playing off a subdivision of the tempo. So it seems like it might be faster, but really it's not faster, it's still the same tempo. So, but in order to do this in Cakewalk, you actually have to change the tempo of the project. So let me show you how to do this. So here's my intro. My intro is at 70 beats per minute. And then there's a section after I play the verse, this is kind of like the verse or really the chorus really. Uh, and then it goes to a totally different groove. So it's almost like a through composed uh, composition at first. And now this is the change. See, right now I'm at 70 BPM. And then when I click here, I'm at 109 BPM. So if you're having, say for instance, your verse is really slow, but then your chorus is like really fast and there are different beats or different time signatures, you know, yeah, you can use a feel to kind of get there, but you really don't have to do that. You can really kind of just set up the tempo change or you can set up a time signature change, which works as well. So what I did was, uh, let me play now. Don't, you know, this is a corny recording. This is really meant as a demo because this song is going to be recorded live in a live band setting with musicians and stuff like that. But anyway, this is a song that I really felt was really good for a horn. So you're going to be listening to Cakewalk TTS horns. They don't sound that good, but we're going to work with this. So there's this melody right here. Let's play it back a little bit. Okay, so I'm going... So that becomes my new quarter notes, but those are really triplets. So the tempo is right here. Three, four. So that's a new tempo, basically. And you can see how to do that. This is kind of like a one two and three one two and three it's kind of like three against two i guess as you want to call it i learned a lot of stuff about polyrhythms so if you know about polyrhythms then you know how to kind of make this stuff transition well so i'm taking the melody and then it goes into the next groove so the next groove is set up now mind you this little melody right here is still at the same tempo okay so when the, all the other instruments end, this is still at 70. Then boom, right here at measure 22, beat two, then all of a sudden the tempo changes. And this is how I did that. So you can set your point. You wanna go to project and you, here you can do insert meter key change. You can insert a tempo change or insert a series of tempos. Or you can insert time measures or you can offset the tempo map, okay? So tempo change is like saying, hey, when I get to measure 30, everything else is going to be the same tempo. So and then so I can say tempo, you can tap is what kind of what I did. And then I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to mess it up. But so I can tap it and then I can say change the most recent tempo or I can say insert a new tempo at this particular measure. Right. And once I do that, then it changes or you can do insert series of tempos okay a series of tempos says that hey from this particular range to this particular range i wanted to go from 70 bpm to 112 bpm over the course of three measures now this is really good if you want to just kind of gradually get faster like you know you know, whatever, you know, maybe you do that in your 
um, orchestration or in your song, whatever you're writing. But in this case, uh, you can also just say, <laughs> well, at measure 18, I want it to begin at 100. And at measure 20, I want it to still be at 100. Okay. Um, and then it'll insert that tempo right there, which means that if 70 BPM was what became before measure 18, then measure 17 is still going to be 70 BPM. So if that makes sense. So here how this transitions. All right. And let me put click on so you can actually hear it while it's playing. Okay. Now that's not quite exactly the way it's going. It feels much better when you're playing it live, but trying to emulate this stuff using um, MIDI <laughs> sometimes it could be a little tricky. So I had to adjust this several times because first of all, I had to get that melody to be right in sync. So if I'm doing triplets, and then it goes straight into that. Now, ideally, the other instruments are not going to drop out like that. They're going to keep going uh, like pedal tones. So, yeah, so this is how this sounds. Now, really, what I really wanted to do is I kind of want it to be the exact same tempo. So, um, so if that's there, then when I go back to the original, cause this song transitions back and forth. So it's like the verse is kind of like section, like the main section, then it goes into like another, whatever groovier section solos a little bit. And then it goes back to the other part. So there's like four different sections of this song, but they keep going back and forth. So that's kind of how the song is going to be. It's really going to be a long song. Um, I don't even have the whole song right now. And right now it said how long? Two minutes and 52 seconds. But the whole song itself is probably going to be six or seven or eight minutes long. So, uh, but there'll probably be an edited version. This is a song that I hopefully I can record. Uh, I already got my musicians that I want to record with that I play with a lot. Just got to get in the studio, you know, and I can do it here in my studio, but um of course i live in an apartment so i want to get somewhere where there's more space but yeah so this transitions So, and I got a chance to perform this live. Uh, it was a disaster, <laughs> but at my, uh, my Justin Norm show, it was where I showcased all of my original songs. And, um, this, it was just not well rehearsed. So we kind of did it somewhat, but yeah, I might even post that video. So you will see some of that performance. Uh, some of it's up already anyway, but you all, this is exactly how I would go about doing this. So now these arranger sections come in handy because the arranger section is what you want to use if you're trying to format. Like if you have the stanza and you have the chorus, then the stanza is one way. Once you get everything, musicality, whatever you want to add in there, the effects and all that good stuff, then you can just take that and copy and paste it where it is. Now, mind you, if I wanted to do intro to section seven, I can do it that way. And this is what it would sound like. Now it might not sound really pleasant when you're listening to it on here, but once you export it, it'll smoothen it out. And then you will be able to actually hear that transition better. So sometimes when you listen to a cakewalk, it might seem jumpy when it jumps from one section to another, but that's just the way it is. So we can listen to this intro. <laughs> it's crazy how that transitions whatever but you can see it just transition easily so two different tempos this is how i would go about doing it then that way you can rearrange your song however you want so uh once i do 
intros, um, verse, chorus, bridge. I don't really have to do this anymore. So I'm used to kind of like copy and paste and moving over here, but I can just do the arrangement that way and then go back and forth that way. Now, if it's an instrumental song, it might work if the melody is the exact same. If it's a beat, it'll work definitely if the beat is the same. But if it's an actual song, then yeah, of course you wanna copy and paste these parts out because you might have extra vocal parts and you can't keep repeating the same vocal parts over and over again. But anyway, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments um, if you this helped at all. So this is just a very short tutorial. So, all right, thanks. Take care. Oh, subscribe.